heads of state from across Latin America met in Caracas on Tuesday for a long-delayed regional trade summit. It was 46th gathering of the Southern Common Market, or Mercosur, which also included the leaders from yet another bloc, Bolivarian Alliance for the Peoples of Our America, or ALBA. While economy and foreign policies topped the agenda of discussions, the member states released an official statement condemning the Israeli aggression against the Palestinians. Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff emphatically expressed her support for unanimous stance against Israel's war on the Gaza Strip. We believe the Israeli-Palestinian conflict can destabilize the whole Middle East. Consequently, we ratify our demand for an immediate ceasefire. By the same token, the heads of states stressed the need for boosting their economic ties. They announced the creation of the Bank of the South, as well as renewed efforts to enhance their economic zone that they said would benefit 24 Latin American countries. We're creating a greater economic zone among Mercosur, Petro, Caribbean and ALBA members, which will unite 24 nations from South America, the Caribbean and Central America. Now our coalition goes far beyond an ordinary free trade as we knew it. Official statistics show that millions of people in Latin America have so far been taken out of poverty as a result of these kinds of economic agreements. Although several big countries such as Mexico and Colombia stayed away from these Latin American alliances, many experts believe that a majority of regional countries representing Mercosur and its partners consequently will have a significant impact on the international arena, both politically and economically. Jesus Silva, Press TV Caracas.